Steve's got many great qualities, but for, for, for one, uh, he's a real optimist, which is important in a developer, especially when you're working in an urban situation. He's also extremely smart. Steve definitely um, takes the time um, to do things right and um, to work with his neighbors and knows that um, he's in a community. He's not just this outsider, he is part of King William. Steve sees this as a, a living, breathing neighborhood, you know, um, that's going to outlast him, came long before him. I think he'll be the first one to tell you that preservation's kind of like democracy. It's really hard. It's all about kind of consensus building. You know, I don't know many people who would do that. You know, meeting people for coffee on their dining room table or on the porch across the street or, you know, breakfast tacos and coffee at, at Tito's up the road. Um, to eventually a, arrive at a, at a consensus because for a neighborhood to, to persevere, everybody's kind of got to build a consensus about you know, what we want this neighborhood to be. And I think that this project is, is a perfect example of you know, Steve's dedication to that notion. You just want to see it done right. And so that was the motivation when things got a little bit tough uh, here and there, that's kind of what, what kept us going. We didn't want to just let it let it go or let somebody from Houston or Dallas come down and, and get it done with a pack of attorneys because that's would have been the alternative. Everybody has to be willing to take on these projects because they aren't easy, but they do them because they are rewarding. And so I think it's not just an honor for me, but it's really about all the guys that are involved in these projects and help to help to make them go.